Have you seen the new Lightroom 11 masking tools? I know for me personally, I was really impressed when these came out. And so I wanted to, to make a video to walk you guys through how I use this masking tool in my own editing. I know the techie things can get a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna share my screen here in just a little bit and show you exactly what I'm doing so that you can see and uh, just process as I walk through this. Let's get started. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rebecca Rice, and I teach family photographers how to grow their businesses and create a life of financial freedom. So today we are talking all about this new Lightroom tool. I'm super excited. Now, before we get too far, I did want to let you know about a free class that I have just for you guys. It's five steps to launching your photography side gig. So if you're interested in taking this thing from a hobby into an actual business, um, whether you have a full-time job or you're a stay-at-home mom or whatever, Ever, this class walks you through those steps to be able to launch your business in the next 30 days. So definitely go check that out. It's linked below and um, I know it's going to be super helpful for you. Let's go ahead and jump in here to this sweet family, the Thompson family. Erin is one of my students and she, I just adore this family. They're so sweet. Um, and if you haven't watched that behind the scenes yet, definitely go watch it because it's really cute. Um, so we have 30 images that we're going to be editing in this gallery and this one's so cute. Fun story. Or Yeah. So the spot that we shot at over here by this like really pretty river was quite a ways away. So we were walking down this path. I don't know how Aaron even found it. it. Seemed like in the middle of nowhere, super random in Albuquerque. Like me and my husband are not from around there. So we were just blindly following them. And so I snapped this picture candid just from the very beginning because I thought it was so cute how he was just leading the way. I don't think he even knew where we were going, but he was the line leader. So I was like, okay, I'll just follow you. Um, and I just love everything about this picture. So anyways, the first thing I do whenever I am starting to edit is I will go ahead and select all and I'm going to apply, or I guess I need to hold on. I need to do it to the first one first. Um, so I apply my light and airy preset. I don't know why it says light and airy plus. All right, light and airy. Um, so I have my light and airy preset. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it there and then sync. Um, I don't want my white balance synced. Is there anything else? That's fine, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and sync everything else to get my um, preset onto all of these images just to give us a good starting point. And if you don't have my preset, I can link it for you um, because you guys are in behind the lens, y'all get 10% off. Um, so we'll link the code as well for you guys to get 10% off if you wanna check it out. Um, okay, so the, gosh, this image is so pretty. It's like almost ready. Um, I'm just gonna make a few tweaks. So I'll tweak the crop and we'll brighten a little bit. Um, so in this scenario, I actually don't wanna go too much brighter with the background, but he's still a little bit darker than I would like. So I'm gonna use the masking tool and I'm going to select subject and it detects him right away. It's pretty quick and it does a really good job. So I'm going to, um, I don't want the overlay to show because it bothers me <laughs> um, and I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump my exposure here. So I want you guys to see, um, I'm gonna put without it. Oh, I don't want the overlay without it. And then with it. See how different that is? Like it's a slight tweak, but it makes all the difference. So I like that better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and raise some of these shadows. And I apologize in advance. If you can hear my kids, they are home. <laughs> um, they're fine, but sometimes they're loud and they like to play loudly. So anyways, this picture is pretty much done. So I'm in the habit of whenever I am done editing a picture, I label it green. Um, that way I know it's done and then I'll go on to the next one. So I'm not gonna sync settings yet because these were so different. Like my settings were very different. Um, so I'll edit this and then I can start syncing. So right off the bat, um, we've got a really bright spot over here. So I am gonna be mindful of that. Um, because I want to increase our, um, 
exposure here, but I don't want that to like super blow out. So I'm going to watch our highlights and then I'm going to go in with a linear gradient and I'm going to pull it from this side so that we affect all this in the image, but not right there. Um, and so then I'm going, gosh, I hate that it shows the overlay automatically. It drives me crazy. So now I can brighten up this photo without overexposing that side over there. Um, we still have a little bit of dark patch over here. So I'm going to go ahead and add another, um, I want to add a radial filter. Am I just dumb? Oh, create a new mask. Okay. <laughs> radial. And I'm going to put that there. And then we will go away overlay, brighten that spot up too. Okay, so now we have, if we're looking, oh, if we're looking at our before and after, we've got a nice, pretty, bright picture that we still are seeing details, but it's not blown out. Um, so I am losing a little bit of like her hair color and things like that. So I'm going to go, I like to adjust in my tone curve to pull back some shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these shadows down a little bit. Um, instead of adjusting these shadows, these ones I tend to raise and that's like the heaviness of the, you see that the heaviness of the background. So I'll raise that to about here, but then this helps me bring back some of that detail. Do you see the difference in what it's a, a affecting? So this helps me bring back some of that detail and that looks great. Um, so that one's good. And then since these were all shot at the exact same spot, I'm going to go ahead and click and I'm going to sync. And for this, I um, am not going to sync the masking because I want to do that on a photo by photo basis, just because I'm pretty sure in the other ones, I didn't catch quite as much sun there. Yeah, so I will go ahead and up these. Again, we're going to pull back some of that shadow. Um, so like this, I don't necessarily want to go much brighter on them, but I do on the background a little bit. So I'm going to select subject again. And this time I'm going to invert so that it selects everything but my subject. And then I'm going to pull some of that up. So you see, and you don't want to do this too heavily because then it looks really fake. Like Duh, obviously I selected just them, but by doing it, you know, 0.4 ish three, it's a good balance so that it brightens everything up, but still looks really natural. Um, so I'll be done there. And then I'm going to raise some of those shadows a little bit, pull in, I'm going to pull the blacks down just a tad and that's looking good. And then I'm actually going to sync these. And we are going to sync the mask. And I'll show you what happens when you sync a mask. So you have to go in and it has this little like uh, error message because it needs to be recomputed. So all you have to do is hit update and then it'll put that mask exactly like you want it. I'm going to do that to this one too while I'm here. Perfect. And then it like found my subject. Um, so overall, I'm going to bump the exposure just a little, adjust our crop just a little. I just love this spot. It was so, so pretty. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and like this video if it's helpful for you.